Steve Evans, sometimes your luck's not in. Yeah, listen, we we don't stand here and profess to think we've played well today. You know, we've had some blows before the game in, in terms of Dan Sweeney suddenly no travelling and Luther Wilde not being available and Dan Butler being out, suspended. So that was a bit of a blow. But I thought the boys that come in really worked hard. Um, it's a difficult place to come. We didn't, we're not playing particularly well. Um, the supporters will look at the goals back themselves, but... You know, a skipper should clear the ball up the pitch. He tries a silly pass. The guy has a strike at goal. Jordan Rhodes, who's a prolific goal scorer, and that's a goal scorer, does he? he? knows nothing about it. You know more about going to Tesco tomorrow or Sainsbury's, whatever supermarket he goes to, because there's hundreds. Um, but it just hits him and goes in. And then, and then there's, for me, there's a pivotal moment in the game. It's game changing. It's a well worked set play. Pierre Janney knocks it into Jamie Reid. He's brave because then he scores. There's probably, the supporters can do this, a count to five or six seconds before a flag goes up. Mm. And obviously you don't know whether it's offside from our seat, but you sit down. And they come out for the start of the second half and Neil Critchley said to me, yeah, we've just looked at Steve, he's clearly onside. We've got away with that. And that's hard. And then second half, the, we're, we're trying to change the game. We've won with three up front. We're, we're having to gamble a little bit at the back. And they get a deflection. And, um, and that, that probably seals the game for them. But then they got a wonderful goal from the boy Hamilton, who's played for me. You know, I brought him out of Mansfield as well and put him in the team. And... He's lightning quick and it's a wonderful finish from CJ. So we have absolutely no complaints over 90 minutes. But I think every manager in the country today, including the Premier League, would say that there's big moments in, in games. And we had big moments in game at Bolton and they turned up and they were humble and crying in our office and we, we accepted it. I just wonder who's going to be at office on Tuesday, whether this guy in here is going to be in. Because it's such a horrendous decision and a game-changing decision. But we'll get another email. I'm sick of emails from them. And the Football League need to get a grip with how bad officials are at our level. That's horrendous from the assistant referee. Referee has to go by the assistant referee, but he's in a good enough position to see it. I've just looked at the camera. He's in a good enough position to see it's a clear goal. Um, and that's that's a game changer. But we'll take the hearts along journey home, as it was for the supporters who made the trip today. I think they've travelled in real good numbers, probably having a couple of days up here. But we had good numbers that travelled to Bolton as well. And they were on the, the end of the worst referee in position the season Sorry, the worst referee in performance I've seen over 90 in 25 years. Just terrible against us. And then we've got a pivotal moment today, but I'm not surprised, to be honest, what's going on. I'm not surprised some, some managers get this going against them on a regular basis. There's, there's no coincidence behind it. We know what's behind it. What we found odd was it took so long for that flag to go up. Have you spoken to him? Do you know why it took so long? Well, I asked him the question at half time, and he said, I'm not going to discuss it, go away. Uh, and that's just so they go and get their excuses and their stories right inside the dressing room in it. But they can have no excuses and stories. Uh, they'll go home tonight. They won't, they won't think about it. We'll speak to the head of referees. He'll say he'll look at it. And then he'll get an email or a phone call on Monday to apologise. And then Herd will probably try and ring me. And it's just absolutely shocking, shocking um, decision. That, listen, Blackpool is a really good side. Mm -hmm. They're a really good side, really good players. Well resourced with the owner. Good manager, Neil. I'm going to go and have a, a, a beer one quick beer, but really good manager. And it, and it takes a friend in the game, to be honest, like, like I am with a lot of managers. As I come out of the tunnel, that's like enough. I've got away with that, Steve, clearly on. That's hard to accept how bad they're becoming. Obviously, you tried everything you could to, uh, to get yourselves back into the game and, and the players tried hard, but it just wasn't going to happen. Yeah, listen, we, we tried ever so hard. At 2-0, they had a couple of blocks. Um, I don't think we were anywhere near our best today. We don't we don't come away and say that, but we've gone we we've gone four two four at one stage. We've gone four up front and three strikers up front, and we try to just say if we get a goal, Black Pillow get nervous. It's it's what happened to us. It happens in, in football. Um, the third goal obviously takes that nervousness away. Um, but you know we even at, even at two one if we'd have got the goal in the first half, even if it's two one, we're still in the game up until CJ scores and. I'd suggest they might have been a bit more defensive rather than having that comfort of a 2-0 lead when they can throw CG high and wide. He didn't have a kick against Kasky in the first half, but when he's allowed to gamble and take that free area, you know, it makes, it makes Elliot Less look slow. CG is that quick, he's, and he's a great kid. So if I sit here, he's just his friend and knows Charles Stevens, I say, what a fine goal. So, um, but we'll, we'll take the heart this evening. Well, I'll go and ask the question. I'll get the absolute nonsense that I get when I go in. And we'll get the custom email, but these officials are dear me, they're um, today, wow, the assistant referee that, that gives that offside, he won't he won't blink, will he?
he won't blink on tomorrow. He'll read the newspaper and think he's done well and remember that he gave a key decision and he got it right until he gets the email and then he goes, oh, I'll get coached. I'll learn. Get out, get off the football league, go and, go and coach your non-league.